All right, day one after application, and everything's looking pretty good. And there's that one guy who's been there forever. No mildew on the leaves. The leaves look really nice. None of that shit, so... It's too early to really tell, but it looks like somewhat of success. Yeah. Alright, that's really it for now, but... I'll show you around my other project. Alright, well since... There's nothing much that needs to be done with the uh, squash and zucchini. I'm gonna go ahead and make this video a little longer by showing you all the different shit I'm doing. And uh, this is my composter, which is not, you know, not the most effective. It needs to be moved into a more sunnier spot, but still, it's something. It's a work in progress, but I didn't put it here. I would have put it in the sunnier spot, but look at all that beautiful compost. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This is good. Good, good. Here's one I just started today. Have some kale leaves and a bunch of other shit. The problem with this build is that you really have to, uh, you have to mix it up yourself because you kind of need to toss around compost in order for it to be to break down effectively. I like the zoom, so I don't know. I just think looking at shit up close is trippy. So watch these high. And here's a fucking spider. Hold on, where are you, spider? You're in this area. Get that spider. There it is. Damn it. I guess this is not a cool enough camera to really get a detailed glimpse of this spider with, but spiders are good for your garden. They kill all pests like that you don't want in your garden so don't harm the spiders let the spiders stay they're cool they're not doing much for them there's another spider up here it's a little bit different where are you uh, find that spider there it is yeah I wish the zoom feature was a bit better but you know this was a cheap, this was an unexpected pins camera. This is my coleus. Which is not a food plant, but is a shamanic plant. This plant has a uh, very similar effects to Salvia divinorum. And it's 100% legal to cultivate and you can find them just about anywhere ever so go find yourself a coleus go be shamanic grow yourself a coleus plant as, a, as this do, does better I will document but for now here it is here we have strawberry plants I've actually got three Homemade strawberries are very good, so I would recommend you grow your own strawberries because they're fucking fantastic. I'll show you the other one, which is up here. And this one has a strawberry kind of get starting. You'll get to see me plant these when I find a good place to plant them. Super good plants when you grow them yourself. You'll never want to eat a shitty store-bought strawberry again. 
But now for my pride and joy, which is over here, which is this kale plant, which I've actually harvested from earlier today and yesterday. These things grow like wild, like crazy. Every one leaf I take off, like two pop up. <laughs> Super good for you too. I do put them, make kale shakes, put them in, put the leaves in a blender. See, this one is also kale, which I transplanted. And I took it from, uh, it was over by where the coleus was. It's, it doesn't look like it's doing too good, but it's been here for at least two weeks. So, if it was going to die, it would have died already. Here's a tomato plant. Not looking too good, but it's not looking bad. It's been struggling for a while. I didn't plant this. It needs to be planted deeper. See, you can see roots. But, whatever. It's still hanging in there. See, we got this red one. Tomato plant too. Not still not doing that good. This one needs to be deeper too. Yeah. Look at all those weeds. It's a bit windy. This one's doing good. We got a lot of green tomatoes, so a little longer, should start fruiting, and this one I'm excited about, which is my avocado tree, which is very, very good, I love avocados, so it hasn't fruited yet, but when it does, I'll be happy, one thing I need to do is I need to lay down cardboard and mulch in that order, which will cardboard and mulch act as weed stoppers, and they're much better than that plastic shit, don't buy that plastic shit get some cardboard for free some mulch for free so I'll probably show you show that on here and that's about it, tomorrow will be more interesting, I get to use a power tool 